All right, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a, uh, a fabulous day here today. Uh, in case you didn't already know, there was a revamp that was kind of hyped up that, you know, they were saying, oh, we want to revamp this. So they sent in the dev notes, which, you know, we think that dev notes are supposed to be like the hype stuff. This was in there, which I didn't think was too great, but you know, I wanted to check it out, see it because I've literally seen uh, like nobody. I've, I've not seen a soul talk about this or mention this, but there was a revamp to this, uh, this mode. And again, you might not play it, but I do recommend you try it out. Every single day you get currency and then you get gems at the end of it all. It's extra gems. Just literally do it in one day, and then every other day just log in and you're done. That's literally all you got to do. But if you did it, you know, you're in a better area. You are getting extra free gems, which is pretty good. But today, I want to talk about it. Is it a buff? Is it a nerf? How'd that go? Also, the global compensation for the, you know, mode that got, you know, revamped. They had to give that. They didn't so far. JP did get it. So afterwards, uh, clearly Global hasn't gotten yet. So again, for all the comments that are asking that, it'll be there soon. I'll let you know and show you when it's dropping just so you are aware when you'll get those free gems. Let's hop into it. Let's talk about it. So what am I talking about? It is Brawl. Brawl was the latest revamp they went and hyped up in dev notes. They're like, oh, we got this for you. We are uh, revamping Brawl and we're going to help you out and give you a much more satisfactory uh, amount of rewards. Something that's good, something that's better than what you currently are getting, which they did that. They did add some good stuff in here. Uh, so I thought I'd talk about it and give you a little bit of an idea of how this is now made, right? So basically, all right, here's the math and here's everything. I tried to do the math properly and hopefully this is correct. I may be wrong here, but we'll, we'll wing it. If I get yelled in the comments, I get yelled in the comments. This is about 99.9% .9 true, all right, or right, okay? First thing, there is a little bit of a, a nerf in the way that it's a little harder to get the gems, just a little bit, right? It's a day or two, maybe three, depending on where you're ranking, uh, longer to actually get to the gems, okay? What they did was, this says 4,000, 16,000, and 41,000. If you followed the perfect path in the initial um, event of this, right? You would have gotten it a little bit earlier, right? So again, I currently have 32,000 uh, coins, but saving it for a little bit. Basically, you can achieve almost 1.8K. I think that's like pretty easy. Um, and any below that, it kind of sucks, but 1.5, 1.8, that's like around the good area. So make sure you're at least achieving that much per day. And again, there's people that don't even try this. And I know you're watching this and that you don't even do it. I was you a few months ago, and then my comments yelled at me and said, go, go, listen, you absolute moron. You're missing out on so many gems. And I said, you know what? You're right. You, you might be right here. And they were right. So on that note, um, I now do it actually, and I actually log in. You can clearly see I've been logging in for a little bit now. Uh, my goal last time, so when the notice first came out, I had the seven gems. So I got the seven gems at that point. I finished up the shop uh, over here with the uh, currency that I had left. And then for Jazzy, right? And then I went all the way to 16,000 and got these gems. And then on top of that, we're gonna get the reset gems. So I kind of like got a little extra gems here, if you will, which pretty cool, but beside the point, right? So how this shop now works is these are the rewards you can actually pick up, the popular ones. All of them are these. So then basic stuff here, we got these. Uh, I think these two things were added in, which is pretty good. We have these in here, which I don't know uh, if they originally were in there. But that's what it looks like over here. You have the basic stuff over there. It's again, it's basic, right? They just added a few little extra stuff in here uh, for you to acquire, for you to purchase that help you out a little bit more, right? Now, on the currency side of things, it's 41,000 up here. Previous to this, you had to purchase 80 items. Those 80 items would amass you a nice whopping 38,500, okay? Now, 38,500 to 41,000 is about a day or two, uh, maybe more, depending on where you rank, of progress, which is a little bit of a change, right? So it will take you an extra day or two to reach the 41,000 milestone, which is set for you, uh, but you will get additional rewards, right? So if I were to do this myself and I were to purchase stuff, um, you'd go down like how people recommend it is to go down like the cheapest stuff. So if you were to, you buy everything. So again, that's how it went because you want to buy items. Now that doesn't really matter. You have to just spend the amount. So you have to reach 41,000 at a point. I believe what people have told me is it'll, it mainly will kind of cost the whole shop. So you'll have to buy everything. Uh, so there's like no point in going in order, but I will show it to you here because uh, I have to spend these anyway. So if I were to do it here, okay, basic stuff, I purchase that. I go and purchase these. Um, don't really, I'll say that one for last and then show you in order. I'll do this, I'll, uh, I'll do this. I'll do this obviously, because that's all I can really do. I opened up the next shop. I got my uh, three gems there, which is, you know, still pretty good. Now I have this unlocked. These are always good, so I'll buy them right off the, the get-go. Again, that's 4,500. Back then with the other shop, it was a little bit different because you had to like prioritize uh, the ones that costed less or costed the least, right? And that's the whole goal here. You can just buy whatever you want that you need. And it's just the cost is going to be effective there. But again, over everything, the math stands out to be this. You will be a little bit behind on getting gems. You'll be two to three days, uh, depending on ranking. It's mainly one day, two days, depends. Again, that's where it is. But if you suck really bad, no, no offense, but get up there, bro. 
uh, you'll be in that area of one of two days. All right, so keep that in mind. That's where it currently stands. But again, there's there's some decent stuff over here to purchase. It's still a little bit more of an improvement, if you will. But um, yeah, you can kind of see here. You'll have to basically almost clear out everything. Um, I'll go for the anvils, even though it's like 5,000 for 10 anvils or for 100 anvils, right? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, open up the next one here. We have Victor. Uh, for this, we have uh, this we'll purchase. We'll do that. We'll purchase this over here. We'll purchase this over here. Kind of almost uh, maxed out everything. Uh, I have not enough for this anymore. I only have 2,000 left, so nothing else I can really buy but other than like two of these, right? So there you go. Now I have to clear out the rest of the shop, right? I have to spend about almost or a little less than 10,000. This will take up 1,000. This will take up 5,000, so that's there. Now I have to go and clear out these, and then I'm kind of done, right? So... Again, it leaves that you don't have to purchase everything exactly, I believe. Uh, but you will purchase... Uh, oh, this is 15000 by the way. So this will get me there right away. So, yeah. But that's how the current shop looks. Um, and that's how they kind of designed it. Okay, so in the end, it's a nerf in the way that it takes a little bit longer to get the gems. It does. But you're getting more rewards along the way. So I think that it's not a complaint that can really be made. Because you are getting at least a little bit more useful stuff that you weren't getting before. So, at the end of the day, you have to look at it for... Damn, there's like a giant escort in the middle of my screen there. Damn, bro. Had, had to really uh, jump in there. But it is, in my opinion, I think it's fine. It's not really a nerf in the way of it being a nerf. But, yeah, it's a change. So, two extra days. Okay. You get a little bit extra rewards. Okay. It's a lose-win, but in the end, you equal out. It's a 50-50, you win. You know? At some point. Yeah. Now, this is the patch notes. I talked about this already. This was the patch notes we got basically a few days ago. It was a pretty much dead patch notes, but it gave you the idea that, yes, there is a compensation supposed to be giving, and it's going to be given, right, in this update, but it will exist or last until 412. That's when it's going to end for JP, okay? So this was mentioned. Basically here, that's it. That's how it works. Uh, so for, again, when are you, Global, going to get it? You're going to get it most likely on the patch notes. It's going to alert you on the, uh, the 9th of this month, Red Sunday, which is basically uh, at the time of recording this, let's say tomorrow, by the time I upload it, right? Um, but on Tuesday, you should get it in your mail, and you're good to go, right? It should be seven gems. That's the compensation that is due to you uh, for the reset of this, which is pretty good. So just keep that in mind. It is a little bit delayed. I get the reasoning, I guess. They wanted you to see the mode first and then do it. But I, I don't know. It's just it didn't show up. I was waiting. I was like waiting after reset. Like, oh, my jams, where are they? Um, but they came late, I guess, right? So, again, I didn't get it. Maybe you did, but I don't think so. I asked a lot of people. They all didn't get it. So, wait and see. Uh, it should appear in your mailbox in like three four days. So, that's there. With that being said, let me know what you uh, what you think about it. Is it a nerf or a buff to you? Personally speaking, it's a 50-50. You win in the end. You got some things lowered in discount, uh, easier to obtain. There are better things in there, a few better things. So in the end, I think that it is better as a shop. Again, it is kind of nerf for a day or two. I, I see that little little thing right there. But um, at the end of the day, it is what it is. 41,000 compared to 38,500. A little bit of a difference, but um, it's minuscule if you think about it just a day or two. And you're getting a little bit better rewards and better costing rewards, right? So you're in the end winning on material. You're maybe losing a gem at the end of the day every month. That's nothing much, right? So 